This is my beginner crochet stitches series and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the butterfly stitch and also how to increase and decrease and work it in rows. Hi guys, for this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the butterfly stitch. Now I'm going to be doing it in slow motion also so that you should be able to see it very clearly. First, you go in through your first stitch and you pull up a loop. Then you yarn over, you go through one of the loops on your hook. You're essentially chaining in this stitch. Then without yarning over, you go into the next stitch, yarn over, or I don't know if that's what they call yarn over, grab your yarn leaving yourself for three loops on your hook. Now this is where you want to yarn over and go in through two of the stitches then yarn over one more time and go through the last two. And then to complete the stitch, and it's very important, chain one. Now again, and I'll show you this in slow motion, that's how you do the butterfly stitch and all you do is just go in again through one stitch pull through one then you go into the next stitch pull through two and pull through two and then chain one Now, when you're working it around, you're going to be working with the right side facing you. But just to show you in the tutorial, because it's exactly the same, you're going to be working into the wings of the butterfly. So just imagine it's still going in around. And your second row of butterfly stitches, you're going to be going in through the first 
wing, is what I call it, pulling up a loop, doing the butterfly stitch as usual by pulling in through one. Then you want to go in through the next wing of the butterfly here, pull up your next loop, then you pull through two, then pull through two, just like you normally would, and chain one. And I'll show you that again in slow motion. And that's how you do the butterfly stitch on the second row. Now, I want to show you how to increase and decrease with the butterfly stitch. It's very simple. To decrease with the butterfly stitch, all you do is you go and you start as usual doing your butterfly stitch in each of the wings. The only difference is if you want to increase, I mean, sorry, decrease, is you don't chain one at the end of the stitch. Usually you would chain one here because you're going through two stitches. So at the end, you want to end up with two stitches. And the chain allows you to have that second stitch. So if you don't chain one, you're essentially turning two stitches into one. So that's how you decrease using the butterfly stitch. You just don't chain one. Now to increase with the butterfly stitch is, go ahead and just chain one here, finish that stitch. Okay, to increase, all you do is you do the full butterfly stitch in each wing. So you put a full butterfly stitch here and a full butterfly stitch here. And I'll show you how to do that in slow motion.
and that's how you do an increase. You just do two full butterfly stitches in each of the wings. And after you've chained one, after, you know, because this chain one is, like I showed you before, very important to the stitch because it's adding that extra stitch. So just by completing the butterfly stitch as usual in each of the butterfly wings, you've increased from two stitches to four. And that's how you do the increase with the butterfly stitch. Please stay tuned for more beginning tutorials. Thanks for watching.